Welcome back to Lined Musings. Today we are doing an unboxing video. Um, this is for my newest pen, the Sailor Pro Gear Slim in the Nagasawa Hamori B fountain pen. Wow, that's a mouthful. <laughs> and in case you're wondering, the Hamori B translates to sunlight that filters through the leaves of trees and Sailor is always really good at naming their pens and then adding a poetic element to it as well which I think they've done perfectly here so we've got a couple black ink cartridges and your regular pamphlets I'll just pop everything back inside and then we can have a closer look at the pen. I feel like there's usually an opening on one of the sides but it doesn't look like it with this Nagasawa pen so I'll just grab some scissors. It is gorgeous. I love this shade of green. It's a um, it's a grayish green, I'd say. And what I love about this pen also is the sparkles on that section at the top there. Let me just pull this off so you can see this better. The other thing with this pen is that although it is a Pro Gear Slim, it does have this thick gold part on the bottom of the cap and it's engraved with Nagasawa instead of that um, Sailor 1911 I think is what is on a standard Pro Gear Slim pen. And I'll just flip this so you can see the finial the design that Nagasawa have customized here is this cute little ink bottle and I already loved the color of this pen and the little sparkles at the top there but as soon as I saw that ink bottle finial I was sold and added to cut immediately <laughs> and I'll just open this up so you can see the nib and the section You'll see there's silver and gold glitter particles and they're quite large which I think is really sweet and I think that's supposed to reflect the sunlight filtering through the leaves and having that little sparkly effect and on the nib, I'll just get this to focus, you'll see there is a little rooster design or a weather vane. I think that is Nagasawa's um, unique design that they have on their nibs. It's actually really quite hard to show you. I'm just gonna try to get some shade with some shadow there so you can maybe see. Oh, there we go. There we go. And I'm sure there is a much better way to do this. Um, maybe I'll just bring you closer and hope that the camera is going to focus. <laughs> there we go. And if I just turn this to the side, you'll see that I did get an F nib. And as you can see, it did also come with a gold converter. And I really like the thick covered gold piece on the cap here as well. It just really makes it look so luxurious. I'll just grab my Sailor Pro Gear Slim in the Make It Sue design so you can see the difference there. See how there is a band on the Sailor pen? And I'll just show you the Nagasawa again so you can see how it is a fuller, thicker gold band. It's actually similar to the 1911 S pen. You can see that there. And now I'll just show you the gold converter on the inside here. 
I don't think it's actually gold, but I think that the gold definitely suits the pen. Here you'll see the section and also the converter are a less yellow shade of gold. And we are going to ink up this pen in this video, so I'll just twist this converter all the way down to prep the pen. And here's the fun part. I am going to try to find an ink that suits this pen from my existing collection. I've already got a short list. So this one here is Fairy Swirl Press Peter Moss. I've got Sailor Suki Gokoro Yoseka Stationery's Origin Number no. One Ink, and this Van Diemen's Eucalyptus Regnants Sailor Ink Studio 462, and this Troublemaker Kelp Ink as well. I'm just going to grab my Ink Swatch Journal, which already has these ink swatches. So let's have a look. So here we have a swatch of Fairy Swirl Press Peter Moss, and I feel like that's a really good match. This ink and Van Diemen's Eucalyptus Regnants are the two inks that came to mind when I decided to get this pen. So here's Eucalyptus Regnants. I would say this one's probably my favorite green, but I'm thinking Peter Moss is probably a better match. The Eucalyptus Regnans is a little bit more saturated. You could honestly go either way and I probably will switch it up um, quite often. It's going to be my designated green pen, I think. There's also European Honey Bee Eater Wing. Um, I really like the ink splotch. That looks really good. That would be a great match. But the way it writes isn't necessarily the same as that ink splotch, so I don't think that will be it. And here's Suki Kokoro, which starts off blue and then fades into a greenish brown. So that could be an option, but I believe it is currently inked in my Platinum 3776 Ishigaki pen. So I'll give that a miss for now. Robert Oster Melbourne Tram Green is a newer one, but I think that one might be too light and saturated. I've also got Sailor Ink Studio 462, which is completely off, but I always like to consider it because it is my favorite fountain pen ink. I'll just flick through all my bottled green inks just to see if I have missed any that could be a contender. I think that's a good shortlist. Yeah, there's no other inks to consider, but I will just look at these Wearingal cards and we can compare here as well. So there's Melbourne Tram Green, which does swatch different on Wearingal paper. Quite lovely. And that's kelp tea up there. I do love that, but this is a fine nib, so it might be too light for my fine nib. It does look so lovely against it though, doesn't it? If only it was an M nib, then I might consider it. <laughs> Peter Moss looking more grey on the Warrenball paper. The other one we were considering was the Yoseka Stationery Origin Number no. 1 ink. I'd say it's probably too cool for this pen. The two I'm thinking are Suki Kokoro or Peter Moss. I'll pop the cards side by side so we can do a direct comparison. Ooh, I hadn't even considered Lushan. That's a beautiful ink, but also I only have the tiniest sample of this one, so maybe not today. I also really love Dominant Industry Forest. I really like these three on this page. And there's some blues, but I don't think there's any more greens here, so Suku Kokoro must be in the back. 
There she is. They both work so well in this pen, I think. But with Suki Kokoro already inked in my Ishigaki, I'm gonna go with Peter Moss. I'll just pop these cards back in my ink swatch book. I think I'm really happy with this ink selection. Yeah, this is perfect. And if you're wondering, this is a Traveler's Company insert. It is the card file insert. And I think the number is 028. And the ink swatch cards are by Warangal. So I'll just open this up and pop the converter back in. I do usually prefer to do a quick flush with regular tap water before inking it up, but I don't have much time here, so here we go. Here's the bottle. I really love Various World Press's um, packaging. Look at these two cats. And yeah, the bottle is beautiful as well. I am going to need to focus here to make sure I don't make any spills so I'll just do that and speed through this video for you. Okay, all inked up and now I'll do some ink swatches or pen tests for you so you can see the difference between the sailor nib sizes. Well, there's still a bit of ink on the nib there, I'll just get that off. I just don't want the nib to look all splotchy while I'm doing these pen tests. And you've seen these pen tests before in my other videos so I will again focus and I will speed through this video and we can do a closer comparison when I'm done. Okay, I think that'll do. So you can see here the difference between the fine, the extra fine, medium fine and medium nibs in the sailor pens. They are all 14 carats as well. And I've just numbered my favourite nib sizes from 1 to 4. I'll pull out my other pens here too, just to do more comparisons, because I know a majority of us may have different pens in our collection and might be curious. So that's a Pilot and a Platinum Fine pen. And you can see here that I think the Sailor Fine is slightly finer than those two. That said, it could be a wetter ink. It's kind of hard to tell if you're not using the same ink. But based off this quick comparison, the Sailor is a finer tip. And that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed watching me unbox my new Sailor Pro Gear Slim Pen. Um, it is a Nagasawa Hamori B in a fine nib. And I'm so excited to have this now in my Sailor collection. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And if you would like to see more stationary fountain pen ink content and journaling and planning as well, please subscribe and I will aim to upload a video at least once a week. Until next time, bye!